Welcome to RaiGurukul.com. In this video, I will cover it up about portfolio items in Agile Central. So let me explain you what we'll get it from this content. So here I will cover it up. What is portfolio items? How to create portfolio items? Portfolio item fields and block portfolio items so without wasting time let's jump to rally board where post login we are able to see this dashboard screen from here go to portfolio items and you can see it different components which is already available in portfolio items is available inside this if you want to create any specific portfolio items you will find it out three different options are available even you can add more number of items it totally depends on your project requirements so let's say if i want to create a feature i will select it here and create or add new either i can create with some details or i will go ahead and create with complete details so click on create with details and adding here as a portfolio item demo yeah this is my name here i can add my sufficient number of descriptions so that this will be clearly visual to other person what it is built for or why it is created for if you have any specific attachments you can attach it and in notes sections you can add your additional notes like link or other sections now let's move to the right side of the content where you can provide the color code of your feature then owner detail project detail state in which state this feature is right now it's in discovering state so because of that i'm keeping here a discovery and this is the estimate size. So estimation size or preliminary estimate size you can include it either M, L or Excel. It's totally up to you. These are the agile estimation practices which is used by the Scrum Masters. So let me create this feature as a medium size and release I am tagging this to V1 point. From here there is a plan state date and plan end date you can select it there are several other fields are also available if you want to tag it to particular milestone you can select it from here or you can also keep it as a blank it's totally up to you value score risk score this is all defined by the scrum master itself also if you have if you know the value you can add it or simply click on create tab now this feature is added inside your portfolio items so let me go to the portfolio item and i can see this feature is added same way we can add for the initiatives by simply click on initiatives and create or add new so and the again we do have epics epic is a big size of features so when uh, or uh, we can see that the big work done on the epic and for creating of epic we can also do the same operation we can create the radius create with radius or simply we can add some of the fields like epic demo then we can enter is its developing state and we i will provide here as a large and create so you can see epic is also created for me so these are the portfolio items which is regularly used for development of any specific content either we can mark it to a feature or in the epic so basically when we are dealing with the capacity plan it's always uh, required to add inside feature only for developments we do have multiple filter options are available you can use it when you want to provide filter level let's say if i want to uh, search it through owner name 
I will select here and go ahead and add the name of the owner. So if uh, I want to select the feature name which does not have any owner name and I will select that and you can see there is a new data available. But if I will select on this person definitely I will get the owner the feature name which is available on this owner. So there are several other options are also available which we can use it as in terms of filter. Now we can also extract this items in a download CSV with more columns or download CSV of this view that is also possible. If you want to add some more fields like dependencies we can add it here. Let's say I am adding dependency here. So you can see dependency tabs is also available and you will find it out whether any feature is having dependency will be highlighted with 1 and the feature which is not having any dependency is highlighted with 0. So this is a true and false type of condition. 1 it means true, 0 means false. Now these are the contents which we can use it and if we want to import from excel sheet we can also do that it means portfolio items also imported from excel file as well so this is all about portfolio items we do have three components one feature second initiatives and third epic it's totally customizable and up to you which all components you are looking for to add inside the drop down list you can add it at any point of time so this is all about portfolio item hope you liked it if you really enjoyed the session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching